Do you want to play? Huh? You want you want to play? You want to play fetch? A good old game of fetch? Go get it. Oh, that's a good dog. Where are you going, man? Come on. Let me get it back. No. Come back here, don't I? Please. What's up, YouTube? It's Alex again. Come on with a brand new video. In yesterday's video, we talked about Canon's cameras. The R5, the R6, if you haven't seen it, go up here. I think, nope, it's here, it's here. Yep, it's definitely here. Today's video is going to be a show about nothing, again, because I really have no ideas. But it's a nice day. It's a beautiful day. I try to get Dota to play with me, but he, he's, uh, he, he's not that type of pug. Sometimes he does. He does. Sometimes he gives a little give and chase, but not today. He just darted off. He just like, boom, he was gone. I don't even know where he's at right now. So let's go play hide and go seek with the pug. What you doing? What you doing there, pug? You want to go in? Yeah? You want to play again? Let's see. Let's see. All right. Ready? Ready? Go get it. You'll bring it back. You want to try again? Let's try this again. Nope. Oh. All right. All right. Let's see. One more time. Oh, one more time. Nope. It's the wrong way. Donut, you got to go this way. It's right there. Yes, you got it. That's a smart pug. Now come over here, come over here. Donut, donut. No. Wait, no. All right. You do not know how this game works. I'm supposed to get the toy and you're supposed to come to me. All right, one more time. Ready? 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 Go get it. No? No? All right. You ever woke up with a ton of energy, like so much energy that the people around you be like, dude, you have too much energy. Go, go do something. And today's one in the mornings. I have exploded of energy. This is my energy meter usually right here. But today is like off the charts. And I don't know why. And I want to replicate this. Lately, I've been focusing on doing things that help me cultivate more energy. So I've been eating a lot of foods that have, that's like 80% water. I've been eating a lot of salads. I've been running more. I've been doing a lot of things that cultivate my energy. And I didn't feel it at first. I'm starting maybe now, maybe it's like a delay effect. You do it for like a week or two and then bam, it just, it just shoots off the charts feeling good and also I think one major reason why I feel a lot of, I have a lot of energy is because I I removed energy drinks out of my life they're kind of the opposite effect that you want to get done it's kind of, so energy drinks is kind of like a credit card you know you could stack up a whole bunch of energy drinks and let me tell you five hour energy drinks doesn't mean every time you drink a five hour energy drink it doesn't mean you get five hours worth of energy. So drinking two hours, drinking two five-hour energy drinks does not equate to 10 hours of energy. I know. I thought the same thing. So I drank like three. I'm like, I need 15 hours of energy. Just giving me all. Just, But they, it, doesn't, it doesn't work that way. So back to my original rant. Energy drinks are kind of like credit cards. And... You could keep stacking them on, you could keep piling the Red Bull, you feel good, you feel good, feel good, and bam, you crash. That crash is that interest. You got to pay back that energy with interest. And it could last a couple of days. Some days you just feel really lethargic, you just feel like, meh, you don't want to do anything. So I think having no energy drinks in my life and really reducing caffeine, energy have skyrocketed. Caffeine doesn't really give you energy. Well, how caffeine works, you have these receptacles in your brain and it tells you like, hey, you're tired, you should go get some sleep. So what caffeine does, it goes 
find these receptacles, these signals in your brain. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh, son. No, no, he's not tired. Don't tell him he's tired. Just let him know later on when he's tired, okay? And that's the, that's the interest I was talking about. Because you keep stopping that and you push it off for later. Eventually, a couple hours, turn a couple days, and you just really feel lethargic. And you need more caffeine to feel more alert and more awake. So maybe a half a cup give you the energy, then you realize then you realize you need another cup. Then then one cup turns to two cups, three cups turn to eight cups. And it just is a never ending cycle of bad caffeine usage. Hey. How you guys doing today? Doing work, laying some eggs. All right, so I'm done with the caffeine rant. Now, the next question you may have is, all right, if you, if I can't drink caffeine and have sugary drinks or whatever to get my energy, how do you get your energy, Alex? Well, viewer, that's a good question. Let me tell you one I've been doing. I touched, the, I touched briefly on it earlier in the video, but I'm gonna give you like a step-by-step -step blueprint what I've been doing to really cultivate, really cultivate that energy that you want. First thing you could do instantly is drink a lot of water. A lot, a lot of water. You want to aim to drink by half your weight in ounces. So you weigh 200, you want to drink 100 ounces. And if you have an iPhone, one I find very useful is this app called Water Minded. And it, it, you put your goal in and it breaks it down, gives you little reminders like, hey, drink water. And every time you see that reminder, just make it, that's your trigger point for your habit to drink water. So this is like the systems I talk about. You always want to have a system to do something in life. And my system to drink water is to use water minded. So I get a notification on my Apple Watch and then I just stop what I'm doing. I just pull my water bottle out and I just drink water. Hey, I see you guys getting bigger every day. Uh, are you guys boy chickens or girl chickens? Just wondering, any day, any day I would like to find out. No pressure. All right, next tip that I'll be doing to cultivate a lot of energy it is eat a lot of water-based foods. So I'll be eating like a lot of melons, watermelons, cantaloupe, anything that's like 80% radishes, cucumbers. Just, it's a list to go on. Just Google water-based foods and put that in your diet. The number one way that your body loses a lot of energy is by overeating and eating the wrong foods. So food that's really hard to digest will sap your energy. You eat something like in Thanksgiving and you're like, oh man, I gotta take a nap. Well, well, like that's called the itis. And you want to reduce that as much as possible. So you eat foods that is 80% water. And this is really easy to do this. So before I eat like my protein, like a like a steak or a chicken breast, I have a massive salad. And that salad, it would just be cabbage, spinach, and like cucumbers and radishes. I eat that first. Then that will fill me up. And what would give me that extra little boost, like the protein I need, is just the little, the chicken breast. It usually is about palm size or so. That's what you wanna do. So another killer tip is to eat your greens first. Get used to eating your greens first because when you crave, it would change your cravings. It would change your cravings from wanting meat to wanting greens. And that's the key. All right, so here's my last and final tip. Don't eat past 7.30. Around 7.30, your body's getting prepared to go rest, to go to sleep. And, and like I said, when your food had to digest, that's a really strenuous process on your body. So you want to reduce that. You want to reduce that because you want to get a good night's sleep. You can't get a good night's sleep if your body's working to break down foods. So eat before 7.30. Oh, I forgot to add. Set a reminder, put in your calendar to schedule your food and put 30 minutes before you eat to drink water and 30 minutes after you eat to drink water. And do that every meal. And that'll help your digestion process as well. So don't eat past 7.30. So eat past 7.30, drink a lot of water, eat a lot of water-rich foods. And if you do them three things and cut out caffeine or reduce caffeine, your energy level will skyrocket. You'll be like, woo, off the charts. You'll be feeling good. And that's that's what you want to do. You want to get more energy because you could you could do more things you want to do. And I don't care if you want to play more games or if you want to 
work on your business, work on your YouTube channel, anything. You need to have energy or you just go laying around just feeling sleepy and playing on your phone. Because that's what I did. Give these tips a try. I know they will work. They work for me. And if you just be consistent with them, eventually you will see the payoff. It won't work right away. It might take like a week or two. But when you do it, you will feel good. You will have a ton of energy. All right, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like on the video. If you have any more tips to get energy and what you do to cultivate energy, let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear them. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon to be notified by videos like this. I drop videos daily most of, most of the time. I'll be falling short, maybe because I don't have any energy, but now I do. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.